Hello and welcome to part 4 of Citizen Sleeper. It is currently cycle 8 uh, and we have just woken up on another fine day on the eye with some nice dice rolls. <laughs> I'm loving my rhymes. Um, I was trying to think of a way to merge nice dice but to be honest it doesn't really work. Uh, so what was our plans for the day? a good question. We were gonna go and buy some food. I'm very happy. So tomorrow this this one's gonna be full so that's something. Uh, we need to wait for the... it's gonna be four days? Oh, it takes four... I thought it was three for the scrap guys to be back so that's okay. It's gonna be a while before we can do any of that other stuff uh, which I guess is fine we've got work to be doing uh, it's just I'm wondering if I should do a cheeky Google of how many cycles we might get in this game uh, because I'm always like if I know there's gonna be like hundreds I feel like I'll be able to settle a little bit more uh, so this is what we want to be doing so we can try and do winter light before we clear the yard but because I've already started the yard clearing it seems less likely that we're gonna get to do that we don't have anything else so basically we need to decide if there's anything we need to use the six on and if not we just use it all at work I think that's gonna be the plan firstly though we need to check for Havenage data right no havenage havenage agents for havenage ciphers is what we're looking for yeah but they needed oops they needed two all of the ones that we found needed a number two like a number two dice roll not not a poop uh the thing is oh that is also a number two okay hold on Right, this key node here will take one, right? We we need a key to be able to get into the sealed dock. However, we only have two more things before the hunter becomes full again. And I'm pretty worried about that. I don't know what that's going to do to us. So that makes me think we should be saving our hacks for the things that we actually need to do and we do really need to do it always seems to be keynotes one actually keynotes one havenage agents two. Oh, yatakan agent one as well keynote one keynote two okay my logic is flawed <laughs> uh okay okay right so that is an option that we could do a key node because we need an encryption key one more and we open this which feels like a big deal like it's a sealed dock why is it sealed we we, we need to know these things uh we we don't have anything to sell right now we do need to become a fungus fan though i think this is where we start for the day Okay, we're done, done that. So now I think if we leave and come back, there might be a conversation for us with Emphis. The funnest of guys. Sleeper, Emphis calls out to you. A booming voice that echoes through the corridor. Tell me a story. He throws a handful of chopped mushrooms into his wok. The fire leaping up to meet the oil. I probably should have done my other duties for the day before I did this. I've just, oops. Uh, minimum efficiency <laughs> that's my name um, he throws a handful of chopped mushrooms into his wok the fire leaping up to meet the oil I see you cycle in cycle out but we never speak tell me a story uh, I'm not gonna ask why we establish this guy like stories what kind any kind he pauses to drizzle something from a plastic bottle into the wok but one of yours he looks up at you Nothing stolen. 
You pause. Oh, so he wants an original me story. Excellent. You pause. The spice is rich in your nostrils. <clears throat> and think about the kind of story you'd like to tell Emphis. You look at Emphis, the listener, and imagine he has heard it all before. Perhaps he would enjoy a strange story, something with some spice. Uh, ooh, our dreams might be a good one. Yeah. All the sleepers, you tell Emphis, had dreams. Some were simple, memories left over from the emulation process that had become tangled up in their minds and would come out when they slept. It wasn't rare to hear a sleeper in the dorm scream or cry out in the night. So these are memories left over from emulation. Become tangled up in their minds. Okay. But your dreams, those grey skeletal after images of systems and structures, of threads and patterns, weren't like the others. They weren't memories or nightmares, they were reflections of reality. Distorted, yes, but somehow true. You learned back then to keep quiet about them, to let them flow through your mind like water. Reflections of reality. Why are we getting those compared to any other sleeper? That was until now, you arrived, until you arrived at this place. Now your dreams colonize your waking life. They slip behind your eyeballs with every blink, and now you understand they aren't dreams at all, but some process of interfacing, of speaking, of living in another world that flows through this one like smoke through air. Is that, is that like the artificialness of us coming through? Like, is that our literal living processes? You tell him that you do not know if there is a reason for your dreams. Perhaps your reason, it is just some side effect or particularly particular quality of the frame you inhabit. But whatever it is, it is a gift and you hope to make use of it. Emphis finishes cooking and squints a little at you. Sleeper, he smiles. You're quite the storyteller. He eyes you and you realise he's been trying to gauge how honest you have been in your story. Like... It was dreams versus ghost stories. Dreams felt the most authentic <laughs> uh, that we could talk about, you know? Emphis passes you the meal he has cooked and you take it gracefully. As you eat, he talks. and A natural exchange. Thank you, sleeper. He looks around at the empty market, but my time is done for today and I do not want to keep you longer, so I will make a proposal. What is it? He gestures towards the plastic boxes of ingredients stacked behind his stall. These are good enough for most, but someone told me a story that made me think a couple of cycles ago. They said across the gap in the greenway, fresh mushrooms grow. Have you heard this? Across the gap in the, gap in the greenway? No. Neither had I, but I trust the one who told me. Emphis began, uh, begins picking up his things. Can you bring me some? I can't cross the gap and I worry about leaving my things behind. He smiles. I am sure a storyteller like you could handle the trip. I will prepare them for you and if you wish to tell it, be the audience for another story. Are you expecting it to be spicy? Uh, I want to say perhaps. Perhaps. Consider it. I'm not just going to blindly promise it. Emphis slides his walk away and straightens up. I'll prepare a recipe then, sleeper. Good luck with your foraging. You turn away and walk back to the main market, the rich taste of Emphis food still lingering in your mouth. Stories for food, you think, a trade that seems more than fair. Stories for food is quite a cool, a cool thing, I enjoy it. Oh, you know how I was complaining about having to use the keyboard? to move you can use your mouse scrolly wheel but it's very slow hmm. okay uh so where is get to know emphasis bring the caps she said the green gap or something where the heck is that turn that off we don't need the waypointy things uh passage to low end i don't think it's down there maybe i should turn it on just to 
check everywhere. It's only showing us his place. How weird. Is he still here? Ah, here. Emphis wants to make this old recipe. He'll need three handfuls of Giroli cups, fresh and firm. Where in the heck are we going to find those? The green gap. We can still order our food also. Like, we are full up right now. Uh, we can save the one for a little bit. We There's nothing more we can do with this one. So... Alright, we can't do anything with that either. We can't do anything with that. I'm just trying to make sure that I'm not missing any. So these... Still waiting. So we just need to make the most of our thingies right now. Uh, of our dice. And the only thing we can really do is, is work. Which is good. It, it, wait. It might actually seem a lot more achievable if we get this done now. So that is 100%. 50, so we can get three goes of this. Four goes maybe. Oh, we can put the fives in there and have the guarantees. No, we should do we should do these ones. We need to give it a good crack. Definitely the six. He's starting to get a bit stressed about us being here as well. I mean that's gonna keep creeping up. I'm just trying to decide if there's anything I've forgotten about before I spend these dice. I don't think there is really. Nope, okay. positive we won the coin flip but we could if we got positive for every one of these we could finish this today come on game gimme i've just realized though i should have put it in here <laughs> uh so that i could get some money just to make sure i'm always earning some i forgot we're earning no money doing this Let's see if we can finish it. <laughs> hey, we finished it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now what? Okay. Scrapyard. Squeeze into the office at the entrance to the yard. You lay out everything you have on the winter light across the metal desk. Your makeshift forensic notes glow on Drago's old writing slate, overlapping lines scrawled and scrawled annotations. So basically have like a red string board going on right now. <laughs> Investigation. A set of drone scans fill the small terminal with a spectrum of colours, a heat map of colours, a heat map of damage and decay. A crumbled printout from the officer's ship registry lies beside them. Synthetic paper so thin it's almost transparent. Uh, well, we're probably going to get to look at all of these things, right? the monitor. Reactor failure. That's the verdict that anyone would have returned after a cursory glance at these stacked heat maps of the remains of winter light. On the terminal screen, the ship is shown in section. Uh, blotches of colour marking the approximate damage of the ship sustained. Reactor failure. Like an explosion of the engine or something? The fuel? Dominating the view is a single blood-red rose radiating from the ship's fraction drive. A simple story, a catastrophic failure of the drive core leading to a fatal hull breach. A well-documented failure likely brought on by wear or misuse. Okay, so the uh, drive core failed leading to a hull breach. A hull breach is probably from a crash though, right? But you aren't looking at the rows of the reactor. You're looking at a smaller, paler mark. 
one that might be easy to miss at first glance. It is a thumbprint sized and delicately placed over the control servos of for the ship's main external airlock. Thumbprint size on the picture. Is it a person? An another robot? It suggests a controlled shaped explosion, one designed to punch through the hull and allow access to the airlock from the outside. You are looking at it because it's troubling you. Access the airlock from the outside, so this ship was like broken into. It was sabotage. Uh, look at the slate. Your attempts at a reconstruction of the winter light before its fatal accident consists of a series of overlapping sketches and diagrams showing possible layouts and configurations of the gutted cutter. Oh, a cutter isn't the machine that cuts them up. The cutter is the ship. Oh. <laughs> uh, this was no off-the-shelf model. It was heavily modified. Parts were placed with inventive configurations. The new retrofitted the new retrofitted into the old the new retrofitted into the old handmade joints and reconditioned filters this was somebody's pride and joy a lifetime project kept running with care and intuition it also contained a set of hidden compartments you missed them at first where the hole had been thickened the corners rounded to disguise the change but they are there Hidden compart- like small compartments? Maybe they have a treasure. That's why they were breached. Uh, a plain list shows the A plain list shows the registration history of the winter light. The gaps between the entries tantalizingly opaque. Its first registration was a couple thousand cycles ago on this very station logged at the central hub. From there- from here the- from here the registry tells the story of a busy ship. One that rarely stayed on station for more than a few cycles and often took up voyages that kept it away from the eye for up to a hundred, a hundred cycles. Holy shit. The winter light got little rest. An old ship, many cycles under its belt, carefully maintained. A reactor failure preceded by a carefully concealed external entry. Yeah. A suite of hidden compartments tucked away. This was the winter light and this was its story. This is a story that we could tell. Emphis? Is that, was that his, I've forgotten his name when it's not on the screen. Emphis. But that is not the full story because there's something else. It is a little more than a list. A tiny chunk of data you are able to pull from the ship's systems. The main systems were fried of course, but the winter light had a separate system. One tucked away in one of its hidden compartments, Armored, Airwald. So this ship has secrets, but also even this story contradicts because they're saying the drive core would fail and the hull would be breached through lack of maintenance. And yet it was a very well maintained and loved ship. So the story that's being told to people and what actually happened, two different things. This list, the only recoverable piece from the whole system it's partial inventory. Oh, was it carrying cargo? It details the contents of some hidden of the hidden compartments. Some of it you recognise, some of it you don't. Ship mind ROMs, shimmer, cryo chain codes. Is this a black market ship? And then the final entry, passenger sleeper. Is this a ship that I came on? Or is this a different sleeper? You stare at the list on the terminal and try not to think about what it's like what it was like arriving here in the cold for so long half frozen in the freight container had this sleeper been smarter look here so this is a different one how had they convinced the winter light a smuggler ship if you ever saw one to extract them from s and r can we get them out are they still there we need to like we need to we didn't finish breaking the ship, right? So we need to try and see if they're there. Look here, you laugh. There had been no remains oh, okay, it has already been deconstructed. There had been no remains found in any of the winter lights compartments. You had checked. They weren't so lucky, you guess. Not in the end. Maybe they got taken. It seems like you know the people who are hunting us? 
Maybe they got to them. You hold up a vial of stabilizer to the light. This was all you could find in their compartment. A parting gift from s and R. Well, it won't go to waste now. You put it back in your pocket. Whoa, we got a stabilizer for that? The injection? Jeez, that's a really good price. That's going to save us a hundred money. The thought still bothers you though. Two ships carrying sleepers coming into the same yard. Two, one after the other. That feels wrong. You flick back and forth between data sets on the terminal, thinking, and you see that thumbprint again. The mark of someone trying to get in. Someone who entered the winter light with precision and speed, and when they were done, left the reactor to clean up the rest. Oh, that's why the reactor went. So they broke in, took whatever they need, whatever they needed, maybe, or it was, because it wouldn't just have been a suicide mission, go in, take what they needed, set off the reactor to blow up the rest of the ship and then evacuated. The thought of that person makes you shiver. I mean, they're after us right now. Suddenly, the office door creaks open. Dragos stands in the doorway, staring at the equipment and notes you have assembled. It's probably not going to be happy that we're doing this, but we found a life-saving injection. What is all this? He snatches the slate from the desk, faster than you realise he could move. You run an investigation here? What am I paying you for? You haven't paid me for this. I did this on my own time. The drone on his shoulder starts whining shrilly, his anger passed, passing to it through his implants. That's cool. Um, are you hiding something? Oh shit, I shouldn't have done that. Hiding something? I'm hiding you, goddammit. And what are you doing for me? Digging around in my business? He starts shaking his head. I know you have a lot of questions, but this isn't the way. He turns away, muttering to himself. This is the last thing I need. Um, I'm just going to say, this ship had a sleeper on it. Because either he knows, or he doesn't. And I think either way, it's telling. This ship had a sleeper on it. Dragos freezes, suddenly angry. What did you say? He pushes past you to look at the terminal at the list. He shakes his head. So what? Aren't all of you trying to escape? You are lucky it was you that made it out alive, not them. He folds his arms indignantly. Is he being defensive? Oh. Because it sounded like he didn't know, but... Drago seems to steady himself and then turns back to you. The heat map of the reactor failed... The heat map of the reactor failure reflected in the headset's glassy eyes. I've given you a place to stay. I've given you work. I've... He stumbles over the words, unsure what to say. There's plenty of us who would have sold you on, turned you in. But no, not me. Um... He's not going to appreciate us saying but. I'm just going to say I know. He softens. Look, you've helped me too. He quiets the drone. I've done well by you, and you've returned the favour. He straightens up and clears his throat. But this obsession you have with this ship isn't going to work for me. I can't have you making my clients nervous. I can't have you digging up whatever it is you are after. You can't work here anymore. Well. Shit. <laughs> I knew it was coming, but not so soon. Uh, if I say what about the winter light, he is going to double down. I'm going to say I need the work, see if we can get any grace from him. There's plenty of work to be had on the eye. Selvages need offloads in the rotunda, and Yatagan are always looking for crew. <sighs> Guess we're going to the other shipyard. I'm not the only show in town. Dragos reaches across you and flicks off the terminal. As the light of the monitor dies, a kind of eerie calm falls on you both. Whatever this was, it is done. You made it out, sleeper. That means you have to move on. Uh, 
either someone killed that ship and its crew, or what if they come for me? They are coming for me. It's not a problem. I'm going to say someone killed that ship and its crew, because this is more like... If he knows, I'm telling him that I know. If he doesn't know, he needs to know because he is still dealing with this and it could backfire on him. Like, he shouldn't just bury his head in the sand. Someone killed that ship and its crew. And you want to meet them? He shakes his head. We are done. No, that's not what I meant. No, I'm warning you. In the dark, Drago's head sent glints. And you wish for a moment you could see his eyes and meet them. Maybe then he would understand. You get up from the desk and Dragos gathers the notes, stuffing them into a pocket of his overalls. He holds the door for you, his headset as expressionless as always. You can stay in the container. I won't take that from you. Oh, that's good because I was just starting to think, where are we going to sleep? We're going to stay in the container. I'm sure the other guy could have found us somewhere. The <coughs> I've forgotten his name. The hacker guy. Don't come back. His tone is final, definite, and with an edge of disappointment. You walk out of the office, then out of the yard, not stopping to look back. You leave the yard, thumbing the vial in your pocket, knowing that this, at least, guarantees you a little more time. And as you walk, your mind once again drifts to the person that killed, to the person who killed the winter light, and whether or not that person will come for you. They 100% are coming for us. We got, oh, fellow traveler, found a gift from someone like you hidden away. That's an achievement. Awesome. Um, so we have this stabilizer, which is real good. We know we're still going to need to spend money on the ship. Uh, what's it called? Ship head? Ship core? Ship mind? Um, and we also need to probably go up here eventually. But I don't know why yet. So I don't want to do it just yet. Uh, we have four scrap components. I don't know where they came from. From f finishing the job, I guess? So this is gone now. We... I guess I'm very nervous for Dregos actually because he has taken these scrap from the killers presumably they're hiding the evidence and he's just burying his head and now if they find out that that what he's done like helping us could be real bad so this is probably where we're gonna work next it seems a bit more dangerous but we are oh this looks for us yeah engineer and risky as opposed to endure and danger this one uh so that's our new job i guess until the scrap ship comes back in and we're gonna be helping this woman we can probably do that soon actually if we sell three of these scraps <gasps> we're here yes why does it look like pills let me just check. Scrap components. That's just one, right? We'll still have three left. Yeah. So we got some money. Right, we're doing two more of these. And we'll still have one left. And it'll give us just a trade out. Yeah, this is perfect. I'm happy with this. I hope there's nothing else I need scrap for. Uh, okay, that's that completed. Does that not do? Oh, here, here. Oh, fabricate. Yes. But that just reminded me. I guess completing that job also gave us a skill point. Uh, so, what did we say we were going to do? We were definitely wanting to get a plus one on Intuit. But maybe we shouldn't do that just yet. Although, because that gets us a step closer to the re-roll your dice thing. Um, which seems great. Self repair is something eventually that might be useful if we start like finding scrap a bunch and we want to spend our money on other things. Um, and cryo to get money whenever we do interface thingies seems good, but 
Why was it that I was wanting the plus one on this? Was this for... No, it wasn't for the winter night ship thing. That would have been this. There was a reason I wanted this. Shit, I don't know what to do now. I think I should do this one. Although, let's just check out what we're going to be working here. Oh no, that's not it. Oh, this is, we inject the stabilizer at home. Okay. Um, so I guess we do just buy it from the doctor now. Engineer and Endure is the other one. Okay, we should check Endure. But also, we should check this. Um, Endure is the photosynthesis one, which I'm not too... Too fussed about? But seems good to have if we need it, but we're going to try and avoid needing this stuff. All cryo actions are discounted by 20%. That feels like that would add up. Gain energy after an engaged interaction. See, that also sounds good, so I maybe should get rid of the minus. That could be a good place to start. Let me just check the surgery. Okay, so yeah, we would just be acquiring the stabilizer here. I don't think we would be using it immediately. So here is the... Uh, Art Fabricator. Reclaim fabrication stack. Ship mines cannot be built from scratch, but if you have enough salvage fragments, if you have enough, salvage fragments can be reassembled with a ship with a fabricator. Input three ship mine fragments. I only have one. So if we get two more, we'll be able to build this. I don't know when that'll be, but at least we've done this now. Uh, I'm gonna keep hold of this other scrap thing. What I'm questioning now is two things. There's no point in buying this drink just now because um, we're full, but this is what we're going to do next. Uh, we'll work on the getting a drink thing. The question is, do we use our one dice in the in here? Because I'm terrified of that hunter. And do I do, I do this? Because I feel like I have the money. I should just do it. After, space, after some space has caused some trouble in the low end, Yatagan have imposed a toll for entry. Oh, and didn't he say there's work in Yatagan? No one gets through without paying. I'm gonna do it. Wait, how much do, how much do I have? 219. I'm gonna do it. I'm hoping it's just a one and done toll. Low end access unlocked. You hand over the chits to the Yatagan enforcer and he nods you through. Welcome to Low End, Vamshackle Resident Residential District, and the Free Spoke Towering Transit Home. Oh, and Founders Gap Gap in the Ring Station. Oh, the eye is a big circle. I'm starting to see it now. We're a donut. Life is a donut. Um. So, right. This is low end. Let's see. Block maintenance. What kind of things can we do here and why would we be doing it? Maintained by their residents, the ramshackle blocks are always in need of repairs. Oh! <laughs> Maintaining the block, not blocking the maintenance so that they aren't getting maintenance. <laughs> I totally read that wrong. Helping out is a good way to make friends engineer so that's good for me and oh we do want to do that then play tavla uh the clack of filter caps can be heard in every concourse in the low end as the residents play rotating rounds of this game for cryo okay so it costs like three risky but but cool oh that's we need better odds than that to do any of these things okay uh what was the thing at the bottom low ender no one knows you here you'll need to change that if you want to access the low ends residence and facilities so we're gonna start to help them out a lot and play games with them so that we can get more access to other things in low end because we're gonna become a low ender like an east ender but a low ender then we have 
the free spell, the towering transit hub. Free spoke. Enter the spoke, uh, a tangled network of service passengers and makeshift tunnels cut through the spoke as if it were a hive. There are no maps here. Oh my god. Danger. So what do we, what would we want to do that for? Oh, we'll find out. And then, so we have enter the spoke and we have scale the spoke. Blistered with precarious elevators and stairways, the spoke can be navigated from outside, but the climb requires bravery. So, energy and condition. Uh, spoke climber. The spoke is layered is layer after layer after layer of dense urban fabric. The only way to explore it is vertically. So we have no idea what we could be getting from this. So this is probably lower on the priorities, but I'm sure we'll find out. Then we have Founders Gap. Pay for passage. Ah, this is the next block. Okay. To reach the Greenway. Oh, the Greenway is where the mushrooms are, right? Okay, that's going to be a while away. To reach the Greenway, you need to pay for a pass, a practice invented by the Spaces Mood here. They call it Founders Ferry. So, well, we could technically afford it, but it's not worth it right now. What we should do is take a look here. Yatagan agents. There's going to be more Yatagan ones here. Keynodes. Yatagan. We do have Yatagan data as well. It's the ciphers that are worth stuff though. And that's as far. Okay, so it didn't unlock very much. Cool, but at least we've done that now so we know what kind of things is over here. And if we've got some spare time, we can do some maintenance. Uh, so we're going to be getting a new job. We're going to be... Uh, well, we won't get paid for that, will we? We'll just be getting... Energy or all energy. <laughs> okay. And then... Oh. So, maintaining the block doesn't give us low end there, but games do. Cool. Um, this will be coming in tomorrow. Uh, it's just the hunter thing is the problem. I think I'm going to do it, because I'm not going to find out. If I don't do it, I can't remember what that tentacle headed dog sent to us last time. We managed to get away. Like, I don't know if we can pay our way out of it or what. I feel like tomorrow we may have less dice. Might have four. Yeah, let's, let's do it. Let's see if we can get a key. Key, please. key okay so that was good it's just the hunter is now tomorrow's problem <laughs> uh, because we really do need to get this info for this guy oh we can't even go and see him right now mm. help Feng chase his needs and we need to do that soon Is it? Not that. Help him chase his leads. Here. <laughs> Havenage agent to get a cipher. I just didn't have the dice for that today. That was the problem. I need a number two to roll tomorrow desperately. Also, we shouldn't just be saving our skill points. We should be using them. I feel. Where's my thing? Here it is. Okay, let's unlock this. This might give us another point. Well, it unsealed the dock. Like, surely nothing could go wrong in here. A mysterious machine. Yeah, that did not give us another skill point. Neo Vend 33. Whoa. Is this a vending machine? It's snacks? As you slip inside the steel dock, a pulsing light grabs your attention. Among the discarded tubing and rusted plates, a machine flickers with a warm glow. 
let's just get a closer look at this. We have a penguin with a fizzy drink or a yogurt or something, a jar. <laughs> we have a space dog. We have a bear. And we have like a little thing with a flame leaf on its head. And then there's definitely food in there. Maybe we can take the food and eat it another time. Uh, approach the machine. As you get closer, you recognize the machine's blocky shape, settled into an alcove in the side of the dock. It's a kind of upright cabinet. It is covered in faded logos and messages from which you assume it was once an industrial vendor intended to dispense and manufacture ship fittings. Oh, another mechanical part is necessary for the regular running of freight and resource extraction vessels. You're telling me this has got mechanical parts in it and not food? Because that looks like food. I see a bottle. I see a jar. Maybe this is saying don't. Don't eat the stuff in the jar. Hmm. Looks a bit broken also. Manufacturer is listed as Neovend, and you remember an advert from long ago, squeezed among all the off-world recruitment drives that assaulted every planet-born citizen, which chirpily sang that name over and over. <laughs> Neovend, Neovend. You wipe a layer of dust from the cracked screen, thinking of those contractors squeezed by their own corporate employers to pay for every bit of minor maintenance on their rented ships. Ah, oh, it's just mental. It reminds me of... Oh, what else was I playing? Some other game where they were like, they would pay pay the people in like things to be able to spend at the company. That wasn't this game, was it? It might have been. <laughs> I think it was a different game, but um, like yeah, they would get paid in this monopoly money that they had to then spend within the company itself to buy things from them. It's like. So they're not even paying their workers. NTR registration chirps a pre-recorded message catching you off guard. I'm gonna press some keys. I might attract some attention though, but we'll never know if we don't do it. You reach for the keypad and something begins whirring. At first it sounds like server motors starting off, but it quickly becomes a whisper, a whining. And then a multi-tonal voice that emanates from Neovent. Entity, they hiss. Speak with me. The fuck is happening? Stay silent. There's a squeal. Almost like some strange mechanical swallowing or intake of breath before the machine speaks again. Is this like how the world is like attracted to us? The vending machine is now talking to us? Uh, I have need of you, you have need of me. That squeal comes again and you see that it is the 3D printing apparatus in the upper part of the machine resetting into place. Oh, this is a 3D printing thing. Oh, and that's why it comes out and that's why it's like, wait. Because it's printing. Uh, so... Uh, printing apparatus in the upper part of the machine resetting into place so that each time the servos can be orchestrated to produce whirring why so that each time the servos can be orchestrated to produce that whirring whining voice you are in danger danger the machine creaks you are marked for deletion entity hunter tracks you the screech rattles through the empty dock. You remember the strange head, the figure, the threads closing in. That's what happened to us in the other thing, right? Who? I mean, we know who. It's the company that got us, right? That made us. So they're not going to bring us back in. They just want to kill us. Hunter. The hunter, <clears throat> the hunter protocol, they taste your signature. The sudden wine sets your teeth on edge. You have seen them. This is the gift of an emulated mind. You close your eyes and the skeleton of the station starts to thrum. Emulated minds are adaptable. 
Move when neurons cannot. The mechanism resets. But emulation makes you target. Adaptable? Yes, you can move through networks, clouds, hardware, software. Neo Vend Wines. Oh, I thought it said vines. I was like, this is the answer. No, Neo Vend Wines. But you cannot hide there. Hunter is there. The servos judder at the vending machine's casing as they rest. Hunter searches for me also. Hide in this machine. You look at the ruined vending machine, an unusual hiding place for sure. There's a person in here? Like an emulated mind like mine? Can counter hunter, but need entity outside machine. Need me? Light flickers, need you. Yeah, okay. A screen. <coughs> Excuse me. A screen, attached to the vending machine, with swiveling arms comes to life. It displays a flickering map of the station ghostly threaded the cloud is that what we see points along the rim glow in deep red hunter is always gathering too much data must build nests explains neovent masters are gone but continues hunt bring this data raid its nests oh yeah what what's happened to its masters Oh, Solime, okay. Station builders, Solime. The machine rumbles impatiently. Long gone, their protocols still haunt. I mean, if they aren't being actively updated, maybe we can win. Bring offerings, save self, Neoven says pointedly. Mutual need means friends. They conclude, tired of the conversation. The whirring amplifies and then suddenly drops as mechanisms within the machine click back into place. The glow fades and you are left stood in the dark of the sealed dock, that whirring voice ringing in your ears. Cool! I thought we were just gonna get some snacks! Snacky time, but no! Not at all! Okay, what if I go back there? What happens? So now we need... Ah, uh, I don't have hunter data because I don't think I had access. I have the ripper worm, which I need to put in the scrapyard. I don't have the data though that I need. Neo Vend believes that Hunter's compulsively gathered data might hold the key to escaping its tenacious search. They're gonna find me though. I shouldn't have done. Oh, but I needed that key to get into here. Oh, this is terrible. I thought maybe every day it would maybe take a notch off the Hunter's thing, but it hasn't. Data compiling, so we need three hunter datas then. Neovend wants data on the hunter protocol's actions and behaviours so we might counter it. So that's not even an immediate thing anyway. I think we now have two... Oh, we, that didn't give us any more upgrade points. I swear it said it did. I'm getting rid of this minus though. I think I've decided. I don't like having a minus. I swear I said we should have had another skill point there. Never mind. Let's take a look at this now. Ah, hunter nest. Is it just the one? Oh no, there's two. There's three. No, yeah, there's three. So we need a two. We just need all the twos. You recognize some of the data tangled into this nest. Is this a partial log of your recent movements? Maybe that's how we can knock some squares off. We really need two twos tomorrow. And that is all of our dice rolls done. And I think that's everything that we could do without as well. We don't need to buy anything else. We're doing all right with everything except the hunter thing. Uh, this is getting bad though. Frightened I've missed something really obvious. But this is all we can do. We've got two more days to do something about this. Uh, what if it's just game over though? End cycle. 
I hope I didn't forget to do something there. Flickering. Okay, I had a feeling that we would lose some dice there. And we didn't get any twos. Uh, but we got two six. Oh my god, we got... What's the chances? Two ones and two sixes. The ones are so bad. This is getting... This is getting bad, actually. I need a two. I can't help it if I didn't get a two. So this is the... Merchant Freighter has arrived. Buy Shipmind Fragment. Oh, that's what I need the money for. <laughs> the merchants have acquired a couple of rare Shipmind Fragments and they are selling them at a high price. Limited supply. Okay. Can only sauce a couple at a time. I mean, I need these. I think I'm just going to have to buy them. Haggling over prices is locked because it requires a skill upgrade. You and the merchants know these fragments are overpriced, but are they willing to admit it? You'll get one chance to see, but I need an, a skill upgrade. Engage. I mean, I upgraded it to minor, uh, from minus, so we're on neutral now. I guess I need it to be a one. Not really anything I can do about that right now. We're just gonna have to buy them probably. I mean we have... Okay, it's gonna hang around for three days. Question is, how am I gonna get my priorities done when I don't have number twos? Like, that's terrible. Is there anything new up here? Well, this is the kind of thing I could do with sixes. Oh, it like completely does it, but we might get, we'll get two. We need to do that three times. This is not the time for that right now. Um, we could do this today though, if we buy this stuff. Let's... Let's do one... Oops, that's not it. Let's do one work here. That's 100. That is also 100. And we... We can get 100 easier on this. Uh, so that's a sister ship builder. Oh, this one is minus condition if it goes bad. Only gain favour by grabbing loads of materials. Okay, let's do this one. Although, it's still probably better for us to do engineer because we have a chance of getting scraps. I don't think it makes a difference which one we do because we seem to get similar rewards. Just either if you would rather lose condition or energy. But we should do at least one of those today. Buy the the fragments because we need two more. They have two for sale. And I don't think there's anywhere we can get a skill point from right now. Because we need... This we'll give the mine to once we've made it. Which technically we might be able to do today. The bar. Uh, the dock. We need this kind of stuff to do is the thing. Let's just check these other hunters. Two. It's all twos. There's nothing I can do about it. One. Oh, I can do that one. I can do that one. Okay, I'm gonna do that one. Oh, that's good. Right, this agent is still two. Okay, I have to do this. I have to. We'll see. Oh, no, but this isn't gonna help. Okay, it's not going to help, but what else am I going to do with my ones? I'll find out what happens. Yeah, I'm going to have to do this. I think this is a good start. 
the nest is a tangle of algorithms recursively generating possible Solime communication codes. What's the point? Neural outcome hunter data. Okay. Okay, so he comes regardless. Okay, um, a glimmer in the dark catches your eye as the orb of Hunter's head appears in the distance. It's looking for you. Let's hide. Oh, hold on. Is that what I did last time? But the other guy was hiding in a machine. You slip down into the ghostly structures of the eye, a feeling like passing through a cloud as their data structures deform and reform around you. Oh. Another glimmer catches your eye. Closer now, that roving orb wreathed in tentacles it flickers jumps once twice and then it's here hunter is here shit entity submit to inquiry hunter reaches for you in that unpleasantly familiar way weaving threads creating it's waving threads creating a cage struggle you push against the threads uh, as they close in Becoming frenzied as you push them aside. You are caught by whipping tendrils and feel them pulling you away from the anchor of your body. It's it's mine, Jill. You push through, clearing the threads. Entity, hold for processing. Comes the scream from behind, but you're already gliding away. Back to your anchor. Back to your body. You awake, dizzy, distorted, but safe. It is a mental battle. We did it though. We got the thing. And now we know that when we get to six, that is, we're gonna have an encounter and it might be negative. So we should do it at the start of a day probably so that we can fix it. So two, all of the other things that we need are twos. We could potentially use a one for a keynote. Just to use the one, because it might be the safest way to use the one. But then we just need all of the twos. I'm so glad that that wasn't too bad. So we could climb the thing, which I don't really want to do. We have this. Which we are going to want to work on, but I feel like... Maybe we should just work twice, or work once. Then buy the things. Because we don't have any upgrade points, so let's... Let's do one work. Oh, this is then the question. Do I do the engineer? I think we do the endure, because... We can still do the... We can do the engineer one, if we have a 5 or a 6. Whereas we have to have a six if we want to do this one, because this one's more dangerous. Okay, so that gave me energy. Oh. See, that had a minus for condition. It gave me energy? Okay. <laughs> Still don't quite understand how that all works. Um... Right, now that we've done one of those, we... Did we not earn any money? We didn't earn any money. <gasps> we don't get money for this job! We don't. I didn't consider that. Okay. We... She gave us money for this. We we're only putting 20 of our own in. She gave us 100, so... We can't... We just can't haggle. And even if we wait until we can get a point um it's not guaranteed to work so we might as well just do it oh my money my money no we've been in worse situations although we have less ways of making money now oh, no there's no work here it's okay though, we have a stabilizer, so. <laughs> oh god. I feel like this is bad decisions, but 
Minimum efficiency, my middle name. Uh, right, fabricator though, we can do this now. I hope it doesn't cost money. I hope it can't fail. Shit mind! Okay, give me money. <laughs> Please, friend. Minecraft is an achievement. Built a ship mine from fragments. We did it. Uh, here it is, friend. Ankita. So she already paid us for this, so... You drop the huge cylinder onto the mess room table. Ankita can't hide her excitement. Excellent. I thought it was just saying we dropped it, like, on the way into the ship. <laughs> Smashed it all over the ground. You drop the shipman call onto the galley table with an emphatic bang. No, don't, don't do that. Don't throw it around. Ankita spins around from where she's been poring over some documents on her slate. Holy shit, sleeper. Did you actually land a ship mine? She rushes over and hefts the huge cylinder, turning it back and forth. Well shit, this might actually work. She smiles wider than you've ever seen. Where did you get it? Um, I built it. Built it? Well, well, you are full of surprises. Ankita, I think this is going to be a friendship for the generations, if that's the word. I don't think that's actually the phrase. <laughs> uh... Hear that, Amber? The sleeper got you a new ship mind. The sound echoes down the ship's passages. You have to admit, being in a small space with Ankita when she's this excited is a little intimidating. Let's just smile and step backwards a few paces. Ankita put the ship mind back on the table. I'll start the process of fitting it as soon as I can. I might need your help with some of it. She heads back towards the counter to grab her sledge. This isn't the only good news today either. Looks like my good karma is finally coming in. She throws you the slate onto the table and spins it so you can see the screen. Take a look at this. You see a list of names and numbers, nothing that exciting, along with what looks like a transit timetable. I found them. The thieves? Exactly. Well, thief, singular. She points at a name on the list, or more specifically, Ashton Kady. It was his pass that was used to access Amber and slice the ship mind. I thought he might have been killed or robbed, his pass stolen, but it turns out he crossed the Founder's Gap the very next cycle. Founder's Gap? That big rift in the station, you can't cross it without the Founder's Ferry. Oh yeah, we've got there. She leans back in her seat. I know some of the crew over at the ferry. Old Mercs used to run an outfit I worked with. I saw them in the Overlook and they mentioned they saw Ashton Crossing. I checked the manifest and there he was. Looks suspicious. He hasn't said a word since the theft and anyone wanting to hide out might head to the Greenway and go to ground. She flexes. He won't get far though. There's no real docks out there. Only a couple of jetties in the wastes. Uh, so what now? Now I fit the ship mind. That's the first priority. She pauses, but maybe you could help me out? How? Sure, how? It's like this. I head over there, especially in Amber. He'll spot me a mile off and go underground. He'll find a way to slip the station, or he'll bury himself so deep in the waste no one will ever find him. But you. Ashton doesn't know you. All I need is for you to go there and sniff around. Not at the commune, not at the stacks. He will have gone to the edges, the margins, the wild places. That's what Ashton likes. You see him, you locate him. Ping me on this. She hands you a com earpiece. Seeing as this is Merc work, I'll be happy to give you Merc pay. Ooh. She shifts in her seat. The thing is, I haven't got much left. So how about I tell the boys who run the ferry to give you a discount? I know it's not much, but once I grab this coward, I'll pay 200. Nothing less. So we're going to get a discount on the 150. So what's it going to cost 100 or something? And then we'll get 200. So we'll get 100. And a pass. What do you say? She meets your eye. I can be a merc. Yeah, why not? 
She gives you a heavy whack on the shoulder. Good. I owe you. I'm trying to be everyone's friend though. I don't know if you should be choosing one route or another. Uh, because really I need... The thing is, I'm just stuck. Like, I need to go down this tracker route to get rid of this tracker. And to get this... I want to help this guy get rid of this corrupt dude. But I have no twos. Uh, she lifts the ship mind up onto her shoulder with worrying ease. Strong girl. I'm gonna go get this fitted into Amber's car. You get any info, any sense of where Ashton is hiding, let me know. She turns and then stops. And once again, sleeper, thank you. I appreciate it. Um, Ankita stomps off into the guts of Amber with the ship mind, leaving you in the galley. You glance around, a sudden nervous energy descending as what is to come. You never thought you'd get work as a mercenary, but then again, it seems the eye is full of surprises. Why the hell not, eh? What they did was shit. Oh, upgrades available. Okay. Two upgrade points? Oh. Well, I mean... I can't do the, I can't do the haggling anymore. Engage was that one. So the bottom one. Chance to gain energy after an engage action. Like that doesn't even seem Maybe that's later. Like none of these are a perk for haggling. I wanted to get to the re-roll, didn't I? Oh, I could do it. Oh, I could do that right now. I think that's what I want to do. I don't see any benefit to anything else right now. Oh shit, I need two. Okay, okay, you need two for this. Oh, bollocks. Okay, let's keep hold of this one. And then the next time we get one, we can get the re-roll, because that seems the most useful thing in the world. Um, how do we balance? I would say when we get to three dice, that's when we take the stabilizer. Although we should also check, keep an eye on our money. Oh, we should go and see how much it's gonna cost now. A hundred, okay, good guess. Where are we gonna get a hundred money with no work? No paid work, there's plenty of work, but it's all voluntary. Um, I can upload a hunter data. Not that it's really done anything, but, you know, to start. The bar, don't need to do that. Now I'm suddenly concerned about my cash. We have some scraps that we could sell if we needed to. Um, so right now our options today, a low end thing, play the low end game or do some more shipyard hand stuff. Should probably do this. Now that we're working on that. Although the low end stuff is also going to give us some good stuff. Probably. Oh, we will totally win this game. But again, we only need fives for this. That's going to cost us money. Unless when we win, we win money. Like, I feel like we're going to be more popular if we lose because they'll be like, hey, the loser's back. It's free money. Um, I just feel like spreading out our time isn't the best thing to do. If I go and use this on the... on the shipyard, that should get us, like, halfway there. I don't know if that's a good decision. And that's refilled our energy. And then, I guess now I understand. Sometimes you might have dice left 
that you just don't need to use. Sneaky having a Jajan there, but they they still need a two. Two. This is two. This is two. I think this is one. Okay, so we could do this key node, basically. That's all we can do. Or a Yatagan agent. Which we'll probably need at some point, but... Key node again. Let's do the keynote to see if it gives us another one of those encryption keys in case we need it sometime. At least it gives us something to do with the low dice. I mean, we technically could have used the low dice on something else, but... You don't want to if there's going to be like a 50% chance of losing health or whatever. I feel like you don't really want to. That's alright, I think we've kind of done everything for today anyway. Uh, let's see if... Uh, basically, we need... We need the... Um, oh god, we need the thing. We need... What is it we need? What am I trying to say? We need twos. Imagine if we got all twos tomorrow. I mean, I'd be happy. Like, in fact, that's what I would like. Let's end the cycle and see what it gives us. One, two. Okay, we need to use that two. On... On... An agent and hope that we get the cipher. Because if not, we are hunted tomorrow. What if it's game over tomorrow? That would be terrible. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Okay. Well, that is it for part four of Citizen Sleeper. I hope that you guys are loving it, because I am. Uh, we'll be back next week with part five, and I can't wait to see if it's going to be game over. <laughs> because now I'm really scared. Uh, we It's our final day before we get hunted. Surely it won't just be over like that, but we're just going to have to find out. Thank you so much, guys. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.